Hello everyone. Today we will discuss some of the important interview questions related to Cisco Meraki. Moving on to question 1. Describe the process of creating and configuring an organization on Cisco Meraki. It's a straightforward process. The initial step involves registering for an account on Cisco Meraki website. After this initial setup, you gain the ability to establish your own organization. It's necessary to assign a name to your organization before proceeding to add devices. To configure your organization, you will need to define networking, security, and various other parameters. Are there any particular licensing prerequisites for Cisco Meraki? Yes, Cisco Meraki mandates a license for every device linked to the network. While there is no restriction on the number of devices that can be connected, each device must possess its individual license. What are the few instances of the categories of solutions that Cisco Meraki can be employed for? It has a range of applications like network management, security, SD-WAN, and many more. It offers versatile solutions for various needs. What is the utilization of cloud architecture by Cisco Meraki? Cisco Meraki utilizes a cloud-centric framework enabling the remote management of its devices and networks. Uh, this framework also offers effortless scalability and adaptability while delivering users with immediate insights and analytics. What are the main features of Cisco Meraki's cloud-based networking solutions? It provides centralized management through their cloud-managed networking solutions, enabling administrators to control their network from a single dashboard. The architecture is cloud-based, eliminating the necessity for on-site hardware. It incorporates security capabilities like firewall and intrusion prevention, which not only streamline network management, but also bolster security measures. Could you please clarify the meaning of a dashboard within the framework of a Cisco Meraki? A Cisco Meraki dashboard is an online interface that enables users to set up and oversee their Cisco Meraki devices and networks. It offers a centralized and user-friendly platform for managing every aspect of Cisco Meraki deployment, starting from the initial configuration to continuous monitoring and problem solving. Which section of the dashboard should you navigate to in order to set up layer 7 firewall rules that block traffic for particular applications. To navigate, you move to security and SD-WAN, configure, firewall, then wireless, configure, firewall and traffic shaping. You move to network wide, configure and group policy. How can API be activated through the dashboard? It can be enabled in organization, then configure, then settings. And you can review the video access log for MV cameras on the dashboard. Well, to review video access log on Meraki dashboard, you move to cameras, then monitor, video access, and video access log. Can we configure multiple wireless networks using Cisco Meraki? If yes, then how? Yes, we can configure multiple wireless networks. This can be done by creating multiple SSIDs, assigning each SSID to a different VLAN. Is Cisco Meraki secure? Can you explain the security measures it provides? It provides a range of security measures like firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention, VPN. Some of the additional features offered include the ability to create custom security policy, uh, user and device access control list setup, and network activity monitoring. What are the differences between Cisco Meraki MX and MS series devices? MX series consists of security appliances that are designed for threat prevention and secure internet access. 
and are used at branch office level while ms series switches focus on enhancing network connectivity and are used in the network's core for the efficient management of the traffic so which of the mx type has the highest priority client vpn is high on the priority list what is cisco meraki auto rf feature the auto rf feature optimizes the performance of wireless networks and monitors the radio frequency environment it adjusts the channel and power settings on meraki access points automatically it's an important feature to minimize the interference and maximizing coverage and ensures a stable wifi network Cisco Meraki is known to ensure high availability and redundancy in its cloud managed solutions. Can you explain how? Well, it happens through geographically distributed data centers. The critical components like power connectivity and hardware are redundant. So the automatic failover of network design ensures that if one component or data center experiences an issue the traffic seamlessly shifts to provide the uninterrupted service to the customers so that's all about the interview questions related to cisco meraki if you want to have more insightful vlogs like this then please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you